Hi, my name is Kurt from Code Crafters. This video is from my Roblox Masterclass course, which you can find more about in the description below. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the second tool, the scale tool. Now, hopefully you have watched the last lesson where we looked at the move tool. I recommend you watch that before this one, as I explain what the axis are and the three different types, as I'm going to expect you already know that, um, so I'm not going to cover that in this lesson. So onto the scale tool. Um, let's first off select the scale tool. So we go over to the home section, go over to where you can see scale. It's just right of the move tool we looked at last time. And let's select scale. Now um, select your part by going over to it and left clicking. And you can see instead of um, six arrows appearing, we have six circles appearing. Um, now these circles we can use to drag out different faces and make change the shape of our part. Let's first off try that on the X axis. So I'm gonna go over to this circle here and as I go over it, similar kind of thing happens, it gets a bit bigger and a bit brighter. Um, once that happens, you can hold down left click and then move your mouse left or right or a different way depending on which way your camera is. For example, if you're over here, for example, you want to move it up and down. Um, but you can see that the part becomes longer in length. Okay. If you want to do a similar thing for the Y axis, we can hover over one of the circles here and we can move it up and it becomes taller. Similar. For the Z axis, we can hover over that circle and it becomes wider. Um, now, what's slightly different with the scale tool is that it is, um, it's important which circle or which, in the, in the other case of the move tool, um, which arrow you use. So, um, for example, in the move tool, you can use either one to go both ways. However, for the scale tool, if you want to make it larger um, towards the right, you have to use the right one. And if you want to make it larger on the left side, you have to use the left one. That's because if I try to go the opposite way by pushing down this way, it will actually stop. You can see my mouse moving. It stops it from getting any smaller. It won't kind of invert and then go out this way. That's not how this works, unfortunately. So do just keep that in mind. It might be a little bit more difficult to um, to use or to operate because of that. But hopefully you should um, get used to that just fine. Okay. Um, so let's size this down to its um, size we had at the start, which is all the way to about this size here, I believe. Okay. So that is the scale tool. Okay. Um, I hope you find that it's quite similar to the move tool. Um, those, two, those two tools are quite similar and you use them both quite a lot. So they're very important for making any kind of objects in Roblox Studio. The rotate tool, we're going to have a look at next. The rotate tool um, is a little bit different. So you might find that one a little bit tricky. So again, make sure you're conf confident with both the move and the scale tools before you move on to our next lesson.